Smith's grand. Back to Phil. <laughs> and today, in honor of the uh, the wonderful our, one of our favorite holidays, uh, Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. Fifth of May. We are reviewing Dos Equis Amber. I don't always drink beer, but then I do. It's Dos Equis. And, and, and actually a lot of other beer too. It's not Dos Equis. But sometimes yeah, being, Dos Equis. Being that we always drink beer, and when we do, it's usually not Dos Equis. Yeah. None of us are the most interesting men in the world. No. It's, hey! I don't, I don't know it's, it's rarely Dos Equis, and we rarely drink anything besides beer. So I think we're just, I think we're just pretty average. I think we're the least interesting people. And we're, oh, that's a good t-shirt. <laughs> I, I, I go averagely interesting. That's true. Below average. Alright, so um, it's obviously the amber, so a nice amber color. Uh, yeah, you know, darker amber, being that it's brown in the box. <laughs> Alright, uh, cheers. Let's see. I feel a little bit more interesting. I don't know about you guys. No, not, no. not, not even close. Okay, maybe I don't finish one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's it's again, it's kind of like it's it's you know what it is? It's a southern Labatt or Labatt is a northern Dos Equis. <laughs> yeah. Exactly the same thing. You know? It's very yeah, very similar. Except this one's amber. Yeah, right. right. Well, you know, but I'm taste wise, you know, it's it's not it's not anything special. I don't find anything that jumps out at me about it. It's drinkable. It's mild. It's 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 a light taste. You know, there's nothing heavy about it. Um, I could probably drink twelve. And not really regret it, <laughs> you know, taste wise. Yeah. I mean, it's not fantastic. I can see why you wouldn't like it being an IPA guy. There's not, it's pretty bland. Yeah. Um, you always have, like, I mean, in American culture, our most popular beer, beer is Coors and Bud, but yet there's a huge craft beer following. And so, like, you know, somebody that wasn't as well informed could be like, oh, you guys drink a lot of Bud for the beer friends. No. Yeah. We are craft beer guys. And um, they're, you know, like, we grabbed Labatt's Labatt Blue, and um, you know couldn't really think of that many Canadian craft beers, but there's probably a ton. Um, same with Mexico, um, or any country south of our border. Yeah. So I mean, I, yeah, it's just, yeah. I mean, this is even light for me for an amber. Um, it's just, you know, it's drinkable. You just fly right through it, and you don't realize. It. To be honest, like for me, if, if it was a blind taste, if I had to taste this with a blindfold on and then guess the color, I would guess that this is much more like a butter, of course, more like much more like you know, golden lager than, than you know, like this. This is way darker color-wise than you than you're led to believe by the taste. I, th I I agree, kind of. I do think that's a little heavier than like a typical Pilsner. No, you, no, I, I'm not disagreeing. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm just saying, to, like. Sam Adams. Yeah. yeah, but even Sam Adams is this a heavier is, taste. This is a watered down. Yeah, well, it did yeah. taste. I was about they to say this is also <laughs> one pound. I mean, this this is also a very For all the Sam Adams ever made. <laughs> one pound. <laughs> <laughs> a little tension. Over time. and over. We use the same pound of hops. Um, <laughs> Pours his mass to uh, crap. But I, I agree with you. I was still rated at like a three point one five instead of a three because you know it does. It's it's a different flavor. I don't know if it's a better per se, but it is different. This is New York City streets that we're not going to be able to end out. Um, yeah. All right. Um, I give it a five. I'll go. I'll give it a four. Yeah, I'll go with four. Buenas noches. Spanish cheers.